Selena, Bridging the Gap Between Nutrition and Science. And today I'm going to show you my sushi. Sushi, I can never figure out that why it's so expensive because it is literally the easiest thing out there to make. I've got my nori sheets here. Oh my god, I could use my alcohol. Nori is very high in iodine. Our population is typically deficient in iodine because the original man not that we actually know what he really ate. We just go like, I'll toast the next one on the Kamal. Like this. Like that. Okay, so we have our toasty nori here. And we're going to spread our rice on it. Rice can actually be a very healing food. I personally have done a lot with my body in improving its function by just eating rice. You can go on rice fast. You can make something like Villa Pica, that's the Indian term for rice gruel. The Indians have been using rice to heal the body in Ayurvedic medicine for a very long time. I think the reason why it's so healing is because it allows the body to detoxify from the wide range of chemicals and environmental adulterants in the body, and it gives the body a rest. But it doesn't stress the body in the same way that pure fasting does. Pure fasting causes an increase in cortisol level. It can also cause an increase in epinephrine and adrenaline, especially if you are stressed, if you have any mental health issues. And you should try not to fast because unless you're under the guidance of someone that's supervising you like myself, not a doctor because doctors are not taught nutrition and if they're talking to you about nutrition they should have a certification in it because they don't know anything about nutrition sorry I said it so what are you gonna do about it and rice it prevents the rays and those stress hormones that um, a lot of times especially something like anxiety or depression also if you have adrenal issues or thyroid issues uh, fasting can be difficult more difficult on your body than other people's bodies um, rice is used in ayurvedic medicine for detoxifying and cleansing the body and it can show great results another reason that rice is good for detoxifying the body on rice is that the body actually senses if it's in a fasting state by the level of protein in the body not by the level of carbohydrates so you can get the same um, levels of ch metabolic changes in the body if you use rice because it doesn't have protein in it and that's a whole nother long concept subject i think i need a whiteboard to explain doot 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 but it involves the protein mTOR and um, can actually lower inflammation significantly. If you're doing intermittent fasting and then going to paleo, you might look good and have some nice abs, but you are dying on the inside. Your body's screaming, help me, help me. Your liver, your cells, your blood vessels. This is a really good combination. Another great combination that I normally do is uh, radishes, avocado, and some carrot, or some cabbage, avocado, and carrot. Don't normally do the um, shrimp, but I was craving it. When your body's craving something healthy, say you're vegan or vegetarian and suddenly you're craving something like a meat product, I would say that your body actually needs it. Now, if you're craving potato chips, you might need some sea salt. Um, you just have to look at, like, what's the healthy thing in that body that I'm craving? Okay. Archaeological evidence doesn't show that they ate a lot of meat and bear and elk. It shows, actually, that they ate a lot of mollusks because of their trash bins full of mollusks. So I'm going to put that right there. And this is easy. You don't have to have a sushi mat. You can use a dish towel. I used a dish towel for years. You can use sushi rice or you can just use brown rice. I cook this brown rice with two and a half cups of water and one cup of brown rice. And then towards the end, I cook the shrimp with it by adding the shrimp into the pan. You can also use um, mirin vinegar, and that gives the, the sushi rice that nice little sweet flavor 
be sure and find a mirror and vinegar that's really high quality. It'll last you a year or two. That it does not have high fructose corn syrup. Most of them do have fr high fructose corn syrup. It's almost impossible to find one without corn syrup. That's okay. Just don't have high fructose corn syrup because that's made by um, an, an adoration of corn syrup and it tell is actually has similar biochemical effects as crack cocaine to your body and your reward systems and we don't need any of that. Okay. Hands clean for the rolling, rolling, rolling. Gonna roll it all up now. Okay, here we go. Push, push, push. I put some pressure down. I'm putting about a quarter pound of pressure with my thumbs. You wouldn't think, but that pressure there is what's gonna make my nice tight roll. I'm not pushing this way. I'm pushing down and back, like, and maybe just down. Yes, and then my fingers kind of push it in so I don't squish it out. There we go. Kind of squish the avocado there. All right, there we go. Oh, that's gonna be so good. And I love to use a little bread knife here. Try not to get my hands dirty. Oh, look at that gorgeous piece. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to put it in my mouth. 